Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Dog Day Afternoon from 1975. It's directed by Sidney Lumet and stars Al Pacino and John Cazale. This film is based on an incident that occurred in New York City in 1972, but remember that my duty is to how good the film is and not how good of a job the film does at telling the true story of the situation. Inaccuracies with the true story could abound, but as long as it's a good film, it's not my concern. There's quite a bit that can be said for this film, starting with how it's a damn fine film, but I wanted to make sure I talked about the perplexity of the Durning Kane connection that started with this film and wouldn't end for nearly 20 years. See, this film co-stars a very young, relatively unknown Carol Kane, who would later come to prominence as a comedian in films like The Princess Bride and Scrooged, and it also co-stars Charles Durning. Okay, no harm done, just two actors doing the same film. Happens every day. But then they were both featured in the Muppet movie, and they, they both were the stars of When a Stranger Calls, and later When a Stranger Calls Back. Could it be coincidence? Yeah, I guess it could be in the long run, but it all just feels too deliberate. I'm not saying anything nefarious was going on or anything, I'm just noticing a trend and pointing it out. Okay, now on to Dog Day Afternoon. I really like this film. Al Pacino plays a bank robber whose plan of getting in and out suffers when the cops get wind of he and his partner's bank robbery and a very long standoff ensues. This film is tense and has an interesting experiment going on through it because Al Pacino's Sonny has the will of the people throughout the whole ordeal until a turn a little after the halfway point of the film that I'm not going to reveal here because it is a spoiler that drastically changes the film. From that point on, the will of the people is split down the middle between people that are for Sonny and those that are against. I don't think there's a middle ground to be had, and the funny thing is, this same trick works on the audience because once that secret is revealed, you, the audience member, decide whether that is the type of person you can support or not. Apparently the idea of he and his crime partner holding a bunch of bank employees at gunpoint never factored into their opinion of Sonny for anybody. Weird. Dog Day Afternoon builds up to a climax where you are practically chewing down your fingernails to find out what becomes of everyone. That turn though, some super interesting stuff going on in the makeup of this film for that to have played as competently as it did. I'm going to give Dog Day Afternoon a straight A for being a damn good film. Tomorrow it's one of the rarest films of my collection, Dogma, and I'll explain why tomorrow. See y'all then.